Hello guys, this is a VDub tutorial, but the first thing I want to say is that I'm going to do a hour challenge tomorrow, February 23rd? Yeah, February 23rd on a Friday, 2018. <clears throat> we're doing $30 money prizes. We're doing a uh, we're doing a uh, we're doing it at 1 p.m. Eastern time. So yeah, we're going in. There'll be a link to the stream in the description tomorrow and today. So yeah, get involved, let's go. I'm making this tutorial mainly because I want people to be able to participate and do a very good job. Alright, so the first thing you gotta do when you're V-dubbing, some, uh, some, some nice, some nice shit. You gotta, you gotta go hard, you gotta type clips in desk on YouTube, you gotta do that. Okay, honest though, you wanna you wanna type one clip contest. You wanna hit spacebar, hit the enter, hit the enter key on your keyboard. Hope it loads. You gotta just find uh, find some fucking clips, dude. Find some find some clips. And then uh, you wanna go to the description. You wanna you wanna download them. <coughs> I sound like a fucking brain dead monkey right now. I'm so sick. Like, oh my god. <coughs> So once you, oh my god, dude. Okay, so once you have your clips, all of them, just just in a zip file like this, you gotta open the zip file. I hope you guys have a have seven zip installed because that's the cool one. You can use any other one. I really don't care that much. You wanna drag them into the folder. That's the important part. You drag them out. You don't drag them. In. You don't do this shit. You don't fucking control C, control V into it. That does not work. I will tell you it doesn't. And you want to make a new folder, new folder, you want to name it, bro, this tutorial is fucking whack. Once you have your folder made, you want to open up VDub. I'll have a link to download this in the description for you guys, just so you don't have to worry about it. I'll also have a link to a codec pack, and hopefully, if I can find one, I'll have a link to the Lagrith Lossless codec. That's the codec that I use when I when I go here to compress, I'll show you guys what this does in one sec. <coughs> so once you have v once you have uh, once you have virtual dub open, your 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 uh your thing should look like this. Your, your monitor. You you want to go to the the Q batch operation batch wizard. You need to click route outputs to a different folder, and you want to find that folder that you made. Like the folder, like this one right here, like th this one. Yeah, there you go. Now you wanna you wanna open up the folder that you extracted your clips to. You wanna click on all of the clips and drag them into the batch wizard and click add to queue. And you wanna go to resave as AVI because none of these other three do anything like important for video game editing and I don't really know like maybe there's a use for them. You can figure that out yourself, but like if you really want only the audio you can do that. But I, I do AVI because that makes your clips not lag when you're in Vegas, alright? That's the that's the strategy here. <clears throat> God, my fucking throat's killing me. I'm gonna go to compression. You wanna click lagger with lossless. And if you don't have that, just like play around and you can you can do uncompressed if you don't have that. But you, there I uh, should have a link in the description for it. <clears throat> Dude, I'm dying. Alright. So once you have that selected, hit OK. Make sure it's on full processing mode, you want to go to your options, preferences. Make sure you have your main settings, you want these to be set the same as mine. Process pr priority needs to be even higher. Speed limit needs to be all the way up so you can just cook through the fucking like, V-dubs, my dude. Like the uncompression shit. You need to go to this, just, just none of this stuff is important, I don't think. Like, on CPU, enable all CPU specific optimizations, I, I would select that, personally. If you have a ver if you have a lot of cores on your processor, I would set this to 1. And I would set this to 8 threads. Or, however many threads you have. If you know how many threads you have, just select that number. Or just let it do auto if you want. But I, I know I have 8 threads, so I just click 8 threads. <laughs> In the video filter process ahead, just do auto on that. It doesn't matter that much. Once you have everything straightened out, you want to hit uh, you want to hit OK. You want to go to your uh, performance options, 
Make sure AVI output buffering is set to 2 megabytes. Wave input 64 kilobytes. And make sure your render pipelining is at 24 buffers for the video buffering and 2 seconds for the audio. And then after you do all of that, you want to go to your filters. This is optional, by the way. I like to do this because it makes my renders faster. But I usually just add a, uh, I usually just add a resize filter, and I set it to like 75% or 66. I do 75, so it's a nice and even number. I hit OK, OK, and then when you're at this point, you can click on job control which is f4 memorize that key because it's really easy to just be in this window and just hit f4 and have all of this stuff pop up and then you can click you can either click start or if you have to do multiple folders like just make new folders and click auto start and drag them into the uh I, I don't know i don't know how to describe it really easy but if you follow this tutorial you'll figure out what i mean 100 percent. it's not that hard and you want to just click auto start and it just goes and then while all of this is going, you just gotta go get yourself some coffee, gotta go, gotta go, uh, go check your Twitter mentions, see if you're cool, um, type into, type into YouTube, how to make slime, what the, alright, whoa, they do, what the, dude, what is this, whoa, this is some deep shit, man. All right, so now your V-dub should be done. Uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna say it's done because I already V-dub these clips. <clears throat> now the thing that V-dub does best is when you drag a clip in that's not V-dub. Your Sony Vegas is gonna fucking wait, wait, wait. Am I getting lied to? Your Vegas is gonna lag like shit. Like that. Like it's just gonna freeze non stop. And you're gonna get weird, weird article, like like artifacts all over your video. That's why people V dub. The reason for V dubbing is to get rid of all of the lag that's in Vegas. The file size is gonna be much, much bigger. But the good thing about V dub is it doesn't matter if the file sizes are bigger because you can delete the files when you're done with the edit. If you don't have the hard drive space for it, just lower, like, set the resize value to, like, 50 or something. Like, lower it more. And also use Lagger with Lossless Codec, that makes the sizes even smaller. So yeah, the key to, uh, the key to V-dubbing is knowing what you're doing, man. That's pretty much it. It's not that hard of a thing. This tutorial should not be hard to follow. I hope it's pretty easy. I try to break it down as simple as possible. Hope you guys enjoy, and please do not forget to like this video, do not forget to comment on this video, and do not forget to, uh, to, 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 to fucking, I don't know. Actually, I, I, I'm not actually a sellout type person, so do whatever you want, you don't have to like. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and peace out, boys. Dude, I got this. He's fallen into the abyss. Yeah. Yeah! Don't stop mine, you creeping in my line. You trying to test my nuts, you feel this knife up in your guts. You kind of fucking with the wrong mind. I'll kill you easy like it was the game.